Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Teams. What I want to cover in this module is how you can add a project app into a team. So what I've got on the screen is a team which I've called Microsoft Project and I'm on the general tab of it. Now on that at the top there I've added an extra tab by just clicking this and I've searched for the project app and then I've created a few tasks and assigned a few people and got you an end product to look at here. So basically there's a few tasks. If I click on board you can look at this as a board. You've got little buckets there, you can add your own buckets. You can look at, it, look at this as a timeline, so you can see the timeline with the percentage complete. You can also see who's allocated on each of these tasks. You can look at a chart, so see the same information in chart view. In chart view you've got filter options, so for example I could click any of these or I could click on a person and then that person is shown or not shown if you take the ticks off like so so that shows everybody clear all the filters close that down and then if I go to people that just shows you the people and the sort of tasks that they're on and you can add tasks from them from this point of view and then these three ellipses if you click there you've also got assignments which will then then show you the project in terms of what these people are doing and what tasks they're on and at the right hand side there this is set to daily but I can change that to weekly because some of these tasks are a bit longer than others and then you can see that the actual hours planned for Ashley who's on a longer task you can see them there by week and then Alana's is just sitting there like so. So this is what I want to cover I want to show you how to get this and how to start a project plan in Teams. So to do that, I'm going on to this tab, which is a new channel that I've just created. So this is how you would start off completely from blank. Up the top there, I'm going, you've got post files. I'm clicking on the plus, which allow me to get other apps. And I'm searching for project. And then the project app appears. And I'll click on that. And then it will load up and let me start filling in the data for projects. Now it's showing me a project I've already got. I don't want that one. I want to create a new one. So I'm clicking create new project. And this one I'll call. It's called project 2023. So I'll call this project courseware. That's what we're going to do. Courseware that'll do. And then I click save. And that's what it's going to be called. And then it will create that for me. So now I get the blank project file with the same options across the top the top there where you can just click on these items so the grid option is the first one and then you've got board etc etc so on the grid option the first thing is add a new task so I'll, I'll go start and then no start option now this any of these titles that you don't want so I don't want this so you can click on that top bit and hide that column and then you've got assign to so I've got start no start assign to then I'll click on assign to assign that to myself duration it's a milestone so no duration and then you've got add column so you've got a few extra columns you can put there I'll do percent complete and depends on so you can do the links and you can move these columns about so Put that column there so it's straight after the title and then you've got a few of the columns there that you can set up you've got a start date if you want otherwise it'll just start on today's date that's not a bad one actually let's put that on and then put that there i could put the finish one in there but let's start with this so the first task is quad teams two o's in quad so start will be today so i'll click on today's date which is the fifth it depends on this one being finished or being accepted so that's task one i'll put one in there and it flags that up and i'll sign this to alana and ashley the duration for this one will be five days and it's not completed and then i do another one new task review software and start will be say the um, 15th 
and it depends on two and then that will allow me to do that and that can be assigned I'll assign that to Tanya duration again can be five days not complete and that's what you do you just basically go through this I'll just do one more um, and I'll call test software test software starts on let's have a go the 29th say depends on three and I'll assign that to myself duration can be two days so we've added this information in we've changed a few columns and then you can look at this other stuff so I've gone to boards so just looking the same information as a board you can click into any of these and it gives you more details so you've got options here you can have a you can have steps so that was test software so I could add steps there um, so what I'll put blind so blind and then add that step to add another one open and then so on and so on. So you've got steps with inside this task and you can add a label. I'll go for pink label and you can just change that to, I'll call that software. So that's going to be called software. And that's what that one is. You just rename all of these. So this label is going to now be software. If I click on it, click away from that. So you've got options here. I've just done those. You can delete those. And there's the time it's expected to be based on an eight hour day. I'll just close this and you can do that for each of them. And you can see it's sitting there like that. Three little ellipses allows you to do this sort of stuff. I can delete it if I want. I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to leave it like that. Now, this is bucket one. So I could just call this, for example, um, development. Oh, no, I'll call it phase one, actually. Phase one. Phase one and I'll add a bucket and call that phase two. So you're just doing this like little sprints and then you can add tasks under each of these. So it's a bit like Microsoft Planner this little bit. The timeline option should give you a bit more of a visual of what we've done. So you've got that sort of information. It's quite cool. And again, you can create tasks from there as well. And that's okay. I'm happy with that. Charts, just showing like I showed you before. So none of these tasks, if I go back to the board or the grid actually I haven't, present, I haven't done any of this so if I just change some of these so like 100% and you see it's gone like that that would be the same as me ticking that but if I if I do this if I make that like a um, if I do a new task and call it development Devel development and then I want to move this task up to the top so the first task went too far. Development and then move start note down one. So development becomes the top. And then if I want to indent this task underneath it, I can mark this as a subtask. And then that becomes a title. And I can do that for each of these. Just click on this list. You can see the other things that's there. You can delete tasks and insert tasks etc etc but I'm just going to quickly go through these and just mark them all as subtasks and that way when you complete the top one if I did do that for example so I'm just going to do that everything is 100% complete because that's a summary task so I'll take that off so then you can just individually tick these and then see how it works like that and then the summary task is growing as you do that. Or you can manually type it in like I did before. So I've just typed um, 50 and then just press enter on that and it'll just give me 50% complete. And again, that is picking that up at the top. So remember, you've got extra columns that you can add from there. If you want to add some more, you've got the finish in there. I will add the finish one actually. Should have probably done that at the first. So you can push that next to that and move it across. And then it sits next to the start one like so so you've got the actual start and finish dates like you would have in a normal project plan if you look at the board you can add tasks there timeline will be reflected you can see the completions there on the timeline charts again you've got the charts with the filter option that showed you on the overview so just click on Alana see what she's doing and then Ashley then myself and then Tanya or the other way around just look at what Tanya's doing take those off so that's what Tanya's doing. And then clear all filters at the top. You've also got this sort of option. So this week, next week, 
future in progress in progress not started all those filters are available for you I'll close that one down or we'll clear them first clear all close that down people shows you the same information from a resource perspective and then the assignment is like a heat map of availability for each person it's on daily change that to weekly and then you can see your resource availability per week of what they're doing so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can add the project app to a team's channel and then use that to manage your team on a project so hopefully it was of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one